So what I want to talk about today is why most bikes are already fast enough. You know, people always talk about, especially like new people, this is a this is a new rider thing, you know, they're spec sheet warriors, they look at horsepower, they look at power figures that they can't, they don't have the skill to control, they don't have the skill to do a straight line acceleration. Experienced riders realize that any, you know, full size bike is already fast enough. Maybe there's like, I can break it up into two tiers. There are two tiers of bike. One is like a small, small bike, you know, 200cc, 300cc, 400. Um, maybe restricted bikes as well, like you get like your 500, 600, there is power restricted. So we put that in that category of small bikes, you know, 40, 50 horsepower. The other category is everything else. You know, the cheapest full-size bike that you can get probably has around 100 horsepower. That's like, I wouldn't even say it's a standard, I'd say that's the minimum. Uh, my bike, the one I'm riding now, it's 100 horsepower, 105 horsepower, right? It's standard. It's it's just a regular run-in-the-mill cheap get-around bike has around 100 horsepower you get super sport bike 600 super sport you know you're looking at around 120 130 and then you've got leader bikes um you know 180 200 and then you've got hyper and then you know it, it goes up from there so i'm going to explain to you why most why most bikes are already fast enough so welcome to my channel where we talk about uh, bikes and Bible verses and as usual I'm going to have a Bible verse at the end. So um, I'm not doing, I don't say these Bible verses for like religious uh, compulsions or anything like that but you know becoming a Christian and having a relationship with God that really like changed my life. So that's why I sort of want other people to experience it and that's why my, my channel is cent centered around you know I, I always share a bible verse so the first reason why most bikes are already fast enough is that most bikes can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers or 0 to 60 miles right in around three seconds there's theoretical limits on how fast a vehicle a bike can accelerate you know there comes a time where gravity will stop keeping you down or your tires will stop keeping you up you know there are other theoretical limits and most of those limits are already reached at a regular full-size bike right if we look at if we look at some figures you know a CBR 600 double R sport bike right 600 110 horsepower right 2.9 seconds a Jigsaw 750 2.9 uh, an R1 two, two, 2016 R1 2.9 that's 180 horsepower an R6 125 horsepower right 2.8 S1000 double R right the, the the king of leader bikes uh, 2.7 you know and you got your your run in the mill 100 horsepower that's around three seconds so not much difference at all and you got these giants in the 2.7 there are theoretical limit like Hayabusa right horsepower king 2.5 not much not much different right where the where the difference comes in for higher horsepower is speed so you've got to be going over like say 120 or 130 or 140 you know that's like what 80 or 90 miles you've got to be going over 80 90 miles for you to see the differences between you know 100 horsepower bike and 180 horsepower bike that's because you know horsepower a lot of people don't even understand horsepower horsepower is related to speed you know it's work over time and and there's theoretical limits on acceleration when you're not going that fast but it's on the high speed that's when you know the that leader bike will really start to pull away it's over the 140 if you're not driving 90 miles an hour if you're not accelerating you're not using the power that it has the second reason is why uh, most bikes are already fast enough is you are probably never gonna use the horsepower that you have this bike that I am on now it's not as it's not like sporty right it's just a it's a regular bike it's not tuned for high power it's a hundred horse 105 horsepower right? just a regular bike standard most of them this size are this much power for me to be using its full power I need to be going 
full throttle at 100 kilometers an hour in first gear. In first gear, full throttle, right? If I get a second gear, I have to be going 130 kilometers an hour at full throttle in second gear, right? So the engine has to be up at 11,000 RPM. That's where the maximum power is, roughly, right? Full throttle in third gear, I have to be going 150. Like, I don't go that fast. And this bike is just 100 horsepower. It's, it's basic, it's standard, right? That's, that is how you use it. Now, I, I know people don't understand the difference between power and torque. Yes, there's more pull at, you know, it's got more pull at lower, you know, like in first gear, like it gets to pull at, you know, 70, 80 kilometers an hour. But if we're talking about max peak power, it's, um, you know, I have to be going over 100 kilometers an hour and I have to be full throttle in first gear. You know, the humble uh, 600cc super sport, say a ZX6R, right? You need to be going like around 115, 120 in first gear, full throttle to use the full power. 140 in second gear. If you're not going, if you're in second gear and you're not 100 going 140, if you're only going 100, you're you're only 100. You're probably only using 60, 70% of its max power, and you need to be full throttle, right? If if you want to use the full power, you have to be going 140 in second gear, full throttle. 170 in third gear. If you're not going that fast, full throttle in those gears, you're not using the full power. A 2008 R1, the old bike that I had, right? I have to be going 140 in first gear, full throttle. 170 in second gear, 200 in third gear, full throttle to me, for me to be using its full power. You know, a lot of people overthink, um, you know, going from a 600cc super sport to a 1000, you know, 1000 is better this and that um, again they don't understand power you know like uh, a 20% gear reduction on a humble 600cc super sport would would be un you wouldn't be able to get the maximum power out of it it will beat the theoretical limit right it'll really you might lose traction if you don't you know uh, if you don't ease on the throttle right um, if you if you do like a one tooth down on the front, three up on the back. That is pretty extreme, right? That's only a 15% reduction. People who do that, like it, it's it's uncontrollable for them um, to do that. That's a 15%. You can do a 20% reduction and still get to 100 kilometers an hour in first gear, but it will beat the theoretical limit, right? It'll just be wheeling. It'll just be un uncontrollable. That's a 600 cc. Right, it's already fast enough. The third reason why most bikes are fast enough is for a regular standard bike um, which has a hundred horsepower, you need a five hundred horsepower car to match the performance. Right? You're regular, you're standard, run in the mill, cheapest bike you can get, not sporty, not high compression not titanium valves just you know a regular engine on a motorcycle uh, you need five a 500 horsepower car to match its performance you're talking a BMW M4 brand new BMW M4 like a Mercedes C63 S a Ferrari you know 430 430 Scuderia 550 California you know the, these right match a cheap standard full-size motorcycle the fourth reason why um, the bike you have is already fast enough uh, is riding a small bike is really fun like my I still remember my KTM RC 390 and uh, it's got like I think it's got like 40 or 45 horsepower and I, I still remember how fun I still remember the rides I used to go on that bike how fun that bike was the reason I, I guess I don't have it, I, I still want to get that bike actually again. But the reason why I got a bigger bike was because I do a lot of highway riding and it's mainly the wind buffeting. So it's not the speed because it could handle highway speeds. Like my 40 horsepower KTM, 45 horsepower KTM RC390, right? That is 0 to 100 in 5 seconds. You're talking 
Subaru WRX STI, not the standard WRX, right? You're talking Golf R, right? This is a 45 horsepower small bike. It matches these cars. You know, riding a small bike is still really fun. Um, but, you know, you might think that I'm actually deterring people from getting bigger bikes. I, I have, uh, I had an R1, maybe you've seen in my other videos, 180 horsepower. I have now, I'm working on, uh, my Fireblade. Like, peak horsepower isn't everything. People can get enjoyment out of a litre bike, out of 1000cc. You don't have to be using the full horsepower. You could use the mid-range. You could enjoy how much you know on the power band how much power it has at half the rpm at, you know not full throttle you can enjoy the sound of it you know there's way more way way more to motorcycling than power um you don't don't listen to me to say oh you don't need this much power because you're not going to use it but you, you could get a bike not because you're going to use the peak power but because you just like the characteristics of it you like the mid-range of it so the main reason why i guess I'm talking about this is because after getting my Triumph, after getting this bike, which is only 105 horsepower, sometimes, you know, when I take off and I accelerate, I realize that it's, it's fast enough. Uh, a lot of people don't have the skill to, even in a straight line, do like a sub three seconds pull, you know, straight line pull. A lot of people, and you know, on the streets, you've got potholes, you've got gravel, uh, you don't really want to be doing that everywhere. Uh, even if your bike can do it, a lot of people don't actually have the skill to do it. So anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to talk about. Um, so I'll just end with a Bible verse as usual. And that's from Romans 15 verse 13. And it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Like for this verse, I guess sums up you know when I talked about before like God changed my life and uh, God gave me all these things like a lot of people don't have peace you can just tell they don't have that inner peace there's always that tension there's always that feeling of I don't know I can sense it um, I can sense other people and it says in this verse um, you know so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope and that's one of the things when, uh, like I said, this is not a religious thing. I, I was at a young age, I was religious, but then um, I actually changed and I actually felt power of the Holy Spirit. You know, power that changes you, makes you see things that you never saw before, look at things in ways that you never looked before. Have peace. Um, and I think a lot of people can see your peace at, if, if, if you're a Christian, if you follow God wholeheartedly. Um, and they, they can see that in you and you can see in them that they don't have that peace so yeah I just uh, pray that everyone finds this relationship with God uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed my video you know I'm not this isn't meant to be just having a dig at people for what bike um, they ride just ride whatever you want to ride ride whatever you're comfortable with whatever you enjoy um, they're all great fun you can't say one is good and one is bad uh, so yeah, that's all I got. Please don't forget uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button uh, Make a comment Tell me if you enjoy riding a small bike um, or a fast bike and uh, If you like my content in general, please subscribe and take it easy and ride safe